have a representative student. This device is called a clang finder. It's a simulator. Either side, there's two hearing aids. They happen to be uh, Roger Direct. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it could be any hearing aid with a shoe or with a, a, a neck loop. So what we've got is hearing aids goes into this little box. The output of the box is then connected into our video system so that you can hear what's going on. The first problem is if the student's sitting in the class, as I walk away, the sound quality is going to get worse and worse. You're beginning to notice that maybe my voice is getting a bit more echoey now. I'm going to go further down. We're about two and a bit metres away at the moment. And I'm going to join Tony. We're going to have a little session, two of us together. So can I have a, a transmitter? transmitter you can hear me again over to you Tony so what we have now is two transmitters that have actually been connected together which in turn are connected to those receivers so either of us can talk at any time such as a teaching assistant or multiple conversations within an environment so and what's the name of this network it's a multi-talker network and if I wanted to could I have more transmitters what about if I had a could I have a transmitter in the class for one of the kids to ask me a question yes that, that that's quite common there's a number of different things you can do you can have up to about 47 transmitters at the moment uh, and that could be any combination of multimedia hubs pass around mics or touchscreen transmitters but just for ease of use probably the touchscreen is, is, is the easiest one to demonstrate so this has been a very simple demonstration but we'd like to catch you out we're going to turn our transmitters off just to remind you what it's like listening that you should be able to hear my voice coming back again and hopefully hear my voice as well to demonstrate the benefit the real genuine very simplistic benefit of having a roger radio microphone system 